Hello everyone! This video gives you a brief overview of the main areas of Inception. The project list, the dashboard pages, the annotation page, the knowledge base page and the project management page. First we log in. After logging in to Inception, you see a list of projects that you can access. Depending on the permissions of your user, you may be able to see buttons to create a new project or to import projects. Here you can also import projects which you can download from our website. We have already downloaded and imported an example project. This project contains a few texts on Wine and a small knowledge base on the topic. Before we take a look at the project's configuration, let's have a brief look at the annotation interface and the knowledge base page. First, the annotation interface. We open a document from the project. Now we can see the document text and there are also already some example annotations. With a single click on an annotation, we can select it. Its features become visible. In the right sidebar, the annotation detail editor panel. Here can, we can make changes to the annotation or delete it. Now let us see how to create a new annotation. First we select the type of annotation to create, named entity. For example, we may want to annotate the mentions of wine. Next we select the span of text where the wine is mentioned using the mouse. This instantly creates a new annotation and we can edit it in the Annotation Detail Editor panel. In this case, we want to disambiguate the mention. This project comes with an example ontology of vines. The identifier field is linked to this ontology. So when we click into the identifier field and start writing the name of a wine, a drop-down box opens with several suggestions. We choose the matching one to complete the linking. Now let us look at the Vine ontology itself. This is the knowledge base page. Here we can explore, modify and extend the Vine ontology. On the left side we see a tree of the classes contained in the knowledge base. Below that we see a list of properties that are defined in the knowledge base. When we select the class we can see its details such as labels, descriptions, superclasses and any other statements made about the class. By linking a mention to a knowledge base item, such as a class, we essentially introduce a cross-document coreference. The mentions participating in such a coreference are shown on the Mention tab. When we select an instance, its details become visible on the far right of the screen. Again, there is a Mention panel where we can see all the text mentions referring to this instance. Now finally, let's have a brief look at the project setup. Inception is very flexible and there are many configuration settings that can be made in an annotation project. We will just skim over the most important ones quickly. On the details tab, we can see the name of the project and its description. Most of the time, annotation projects are run by a team of annotators. On the Users tab, you can compile your annotation team, assign their roles such as annotator, curator or manager. On the Documents tab, you can import text documents to be annotated. Inception supports various file formats. The Layers tab allows to configure the annotation scheme. Every layer has a name and the type, for example it is a span or a relation. Each layer can define any number of features. This corresponds to the fields that we have seen in the annotation detail editor panel earlier. For example, we can see here that the named entity layers defines the features, identifier and value. Features can also have types. We can see here that the type of the identifier feature is concept feature meaning that it links to a knowledge base. And below we can configure to which knowledge bases it links and which types of items it can link to. This brings us to the end of our video. 
We have given you a brief introduction into the Inception text annotation platform, its interfaces for text annotation, knowledge management and annotation scheme configuration. You could now try importing a text of your own and create some annotations. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more videos on Inception on our channel. Please hit the subscribe button to receive updates when we publish new videos introducing new exciting functionalities, use cases, news or other updates.